Today in the livestock market, cattle was higher. That uptrend does remain intact. Uh, traders are positioning themselves for a more friendly cattle on feed uh, report this Friday. Uh, we'll see if that comes to fruition, but uh, the futures are still at a discount to cash. That's something to kind of watch for. Uh, right now, August was uh, had a, about a two and a half dollar range. We got up to 184, 325. So it's still, uh, you know, solidly firm at this point. Seval for that live cattle is at 13.8%. Feeders were also firm that tight supplies are supportive to the market and they has been for a while. We expect it to be even going forward. Uh, the futures were steady, but uh, not before kind of like dipping down about two bucks, then recovering. Uh, we have been in basically like a $15 range literally since last May. There hasn't been much to move it higher or lower. And based on all the fundamentals, you know, perhaps that we're going to stay bouncing around in this area for, uh, for at least the foreseeable future. Uh, today we had like a modest uh, rise in the market. We got up to 258.90. Uh, nothing else after that. Seavell's at 12.5% though for the feeders. So the hogs were up again. Hallelujah. So funds did reduce some of the short positions, giving futures a much needed support. Uh, we're higher for the fifth day in a row and nine dollars off of last Thursday's uh, low. Uh, the market has some momentum and still is recovering from that extreme oversold situation. So that hasn't completely neutralized just yet. So Seval's at 23.8%.